Well, tonight we nearly saw an upset that topped the Vinton County Athens game a couple weeks ago, but unfortunately for Fed Hawk, they could not pull off a win, losing 76 to 63 to Waterford. Um, they cut the lead within two with about a minute 36, but a controversial call really killed momentum for the Lancers. Yeah, that's right, Nick. Uh, they had cut the lead down to 63-61, a minute 36 left, like you said, but this game, a ton of fouls in it, 48 on the night, and this one proves to be the, the worst of them all. Ryan Rex goes up and looks like what he has to be a sure jump ball, but it gets called a foul. They, Waterford takes it down, drains both free throws to make it a 65-61 game, and then from there on out, Federal Hawking's forced to foul, and the game really gets out of hand. It, it was really closer in the fourth quarter than it appeared in the final. Well, this game was a game full of momentum killers for the Fed Hawk Lancers. They had a three-pointer at the end of half that really took momentum away when they were coming back. I mean, Waterford led this whole game. There was no lead change at all. Yeah, that's right. They, uh, they were clawing their way back. They were within six. If they go into the half like that, it's a, it's a two-possession game. You can come back, you're re-energized after halftime, and you can come out and really look to cut that lead down. But instead, uh, Waterford hits a three at the buzzer, a nine point game, and it's just a dagger heading in the locker room. You feel just a little, the wind's taken out of the sails, really, heading into the locker room with that three draining right at the buzzer like that. Well, it's been almost two weeks since Federal Hawking has played a game since January 29th. Was rust an issue? It seemed like it throughout the game. Uh, maybe in the beginning, they, they look kind of sluggish, but uh, Waterford came out and they played great. They were draining shots left and right. Their three pointers were going in. I mean, they couldn't be stopped. Their first eight points were all easy layups, so they were getting those interior passes in. And then I asked Coach Murray, did they get caught looking ahead? Because they got the big game against Alexander tomorrow, which has huge playoff implications. And Waterford comes in at 3 and 11. This is what Coach Murray had to say. We did get caught looking ahead. Waterford did a good job. They executed their offense well. Um, defensively, uh, they, they adjusted to a lot of our defenses. We threw a lot at them, and uh, it's a good win. It's a good win for Waterford. Now, even though maybe the Federal Hockey Lancers got caught looking ahead here, you really have to tip your caps to Waterford. They played phenomenal tonight. Absolutely. But the real star for Federal Hockey tonight was Tyler Thompson. He had 36 points, which was more than half of the Lancers' points. He seemed to do it all for them tonight. He really did, but he did it in a different style. He's used, He's usually out there beyond the three-point line, shooting from NBA or even farther range. But tonight he really wasn't, he didn't have his three-point game early, so he decided to drive the ball. And he took it right down the heart of the Waterford defense. He, uh, he came out after the second half. He wasn't making his free throws in the first half when he was getting to the line. He cooled his head, he got mentally focused, and he came out and started draining his free throws in the second half, which really sparked that comeback for the Lancers. And there was no other players in double figures for the Lancers. David, uh, Brendan Torrance had eight points, and that was the second closest score. But with the loss tonight, their second seed hopes for the sectional playoffs have pretty much been killed.